Hello everyone, I am Yu Wei from Film Taiwan, and in this project, I found that vitamin C has a great impact on the improvement of the use of HER2 tyrosine kinase inhibitor, a kind of breast cancer drug, which is called HER2 TKI. Breast cancer, which is the third leading cancer of death in the world, is a killer of women's lives, and one in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. In the face of metastatic breast cancer, patients are often treated with lapatinib and tocotinib. However, HER2 TKI commonly triggered gastrointestinal side effects. Severe or chronic diarrhea not only reduces the patient's compliance, but also stops the treatment, but the underlying mechanisms remain unclear. There are two major types of drugs-induced diarrhea, including osmotic diarrhea caused by glucose malabsorption and secretory diarrhea caused by chloride alpha. Organoid is a tissue made out of cells and works like living organ in vitro. Using organoids as the major research model, I performed experiments in three aspects, cell viability, glucose uptake, and chloride efflux. Lapatinib shows significant suppressed effects on the variability of intestinal organoids and increased the expression of glucose transport GLU3 and GABA-A receptors called treatment with GLU3 inhibitor vitamin C or GABA receptor inhibitor bicuculi rescues the in lapatinib-induced intestinal organoids death by suppressing lapatinib-induced glucose malabsorption and chloride alpha. Although vitamin C is a proper option to reduce the intestinal side effects, its impact on the anti-cancer activity of lapatinib should also be considered. And my data also shows that vitamin C can reduce the growth of, of lapatinib-resistant breast cancer cells. So in conclusion, I found that targeting GLU3 with vitamin C not only reduces the side effects, but also improves the anti-cancer activity of HER2TKI. Thank you for your watching.